We're back with the warship, but today we're actually going to start on the interior, and this thing is still capsizing, which is an issue we're going to have to fix in the systems video where we include an active stabilizer. Anyway, we better go ahead and get this thing started because we got a whole bunch of stuff we actually have to add inside of this thing, so we have to make this thing look nice today. That's basically the goal. Okay, so this is probably going to take a couple years. We're only going to paint the inside, though, probably, because I don't want to paint the outside today. Anyways, for the flooring, we're going to do a simple gray color. I've realized we should paint stuff before placing items. That's probably the smartest thing I've ever um, actually said, and I think we're we're gonna have this entire area up here be blue i don't know why blue but you know we're in the water and blue just kind of correlates a little bit with that i really don't know you know i think it looks good though all right so we got it all nice and painted up here and the next thing we need to do is actually grab the helm and this is where we're actually gonna drive the ship at for some reason you know who drives the ship on a helm anyways uh do they put this in the middle of nowadays i don't know if they do but this isn't really like a nowadays ship this is pretty old well as mentioned i don't want this thing to be too leggy so we're not gonna have like a whole thousand monitors up here we're just gonna do a helm and we're gonna add some robot pivots on the side here which wait hold on that might even be too much uh, leg going on yeah so i think we're gonna keep it just completely flat and we're gonna paint it definitely a different color than blue so we're just gonna go with maybe a lighter gray color really close to white actually so something like that for this countertop here maybe even down here also because this is also gonna be just filled with buttons then of course we cannot forget about the extra seats up here because we do want a decent amount of people actually operating this thing we're just gonna grab normal seats we don't need the actual control operator seats so seats like this should totally work they're a little bit far back from the buttons but they don't really need to be up close to anything all right and then over here we're just gonna make a big old like panel type of thing but surrounding the panels actually is gonna be just a whole bunch of supplies so like fire extinguishers all the important like emergency stuff so we have an emergency supply closet on this end and now we're gonna do one on this end and this one's gonna be like oxygen and pistols maybe and of course we cannot forget about flashlights so up here is also gonna hold some flashlights i need them going vertical or else i have like ocd on it or something okay what's the next thing we need so uh, let's go to grab a rifle. Why not? We'll grab two of these because rifles are actually pretty important. And then we're going to stack a whole bunch of ammo um, actually on top of it here because those things do actually use ammo, believe it or not. And then just in case of the crazy emergency, if this thing somehow sank, which that's already impossible, as we know, we're going to be putting four oxygen masks right here just in case stuff hits the fan, which um, really shouldn't be surprising if I'm driving the ship. So anyways, we're going to add a couple more transponders because, you know, everyone has to have their transponder on. Then we're going to be adding two more radios up here and not only radios down there we're gonna be adding some on each of these sides right here because radios are like really important for communication and we're actually gonna leave a block on the top here so we can leave that space for a button then we're gonna have four radios on the bottom here just like that so that is just a whole bunch of communication we got going on up in this area now what could we possibly add to make this better so maybe over here you know i was thinking a coffee machine but this there really shouldn't be a coffee machine up here um oh lighting that's right uh, i forgot we got to do lighting so we're gonna have here what kind of lighting do we want in the ship i have to think about that okay so we're just gonna have like a really simple lighting system they're either gonna be on or they're gonna be off um i know it's super complicated we're gonna type in light here and we get a whole bunch of options we're just gonna be using this regular light we're gonna tint it a little bit because this white light is just way too bright we're gonna make it a little bit darker hopefully that's not too dark and then of course we cannot forget about the lighting for the lights or the button i did not just say lighting for the lights okay we're gonna put the button right exactly right here and this will activate all of our lovely lighting in this thing we're gonna go in and test it out real quick here in a second let's just make sure we kind of got some things good looking good in here okay so we really have to hurry up because this thing really likes capsizing oh infinite electric go 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 and lights on all right i would say that doesn't look too bad this is exactly what it'd also look like if we were capsizing i mean we are oh gosh this is really scary actually okay bring it back and then if it's ever needed we're actually also going to include some pistols in here so if you can't make it to the assault rifle in time we probably got larger issues but there is a pistol right down here that you can just grab and you know reload and do all that by the way i've just made the executive decision to paint this entire top later uh layer black just so it's harder to see from out here as you can see for level you can barely even see it um i don't know if we should add monitors in here because you know i don't exactly know what type of systems we're even gonna add in this thing anyways we gotta really go on to the next room here i've been spending a whole bunch of time in here let's go to the room directly behind it all right so this room's basically just a supply room again we're gonna be painting the floor i think the same color i think we're gonna have like a bluish gray or a bluish yeah bluish gray uh, type of theme in the ship so the walls will be blue in this room kind of only reason i'm kind of hesitant on this color is because it's definitely not camouflage so if someone wanted to blow this thing apart because they saw the color blue that would have been um that it, it's a possibility all right there's really not a whole lot of stuff i can think of that needs to be in this room we're going to be adding a seat though just in case you need to sit down if there's like an emergency in this room and you couldn't make it to the captain's area that's probably a scenario that could happen oh also we need to make a door that makes this entire or a button that makes this door lock and we have to make this uh the lock button 
important for this door stick out the wall a little bit so no one from the other side of the wall can touch it i don't know why but that is a thing in this game i don't want them to remove it either because it is a pretty cool feature and you know what instead of it just connecting to this hatch right here it's actually going to connect to all these doors right here so that's basically like a lockdown for this area you know maybe we should have a button in here that does that and eh, we'll do that in systems video holy crap this is a lot of stuff we have to deal with all righty so the kitchen area yep i forgot about this part okay so i painted the floor the gray color that we all love um i would say that's a pretty good color i don't know if we should continue this blue theme though like on the like you know the blue stripe that we have going on i feel like it's not a bad idea though so first of all it adds design which is really what you need in these types of ships because all the sailors will just be looking at this wall and be like <laughs> how boring like you know that that's exactly how they'll react and just you know why not the the stairs or the the, the ladders are gonna be yellow because you know emergencies happen and we really got to know where the ladder would be at if you forgot where it was at you, you know that's why it's yellow anyways now that we got everything all nice and painted in here besides the inside of the windows we're gonna be painting these seats a nice tan color this is the most luxury thing or color basically inside of this you know tan is luxury i guess and at the moment i'm currently destroying all the seating um we're not destroying it we're replacing it but i'm replacing it with the actual color because it's easier to just replace it with the color instead of like painting it i don't know why but that's just kind of how it works so it basically feels like i'm rebuilding the ship from last episode which is just an amazing feeling oh my gosh okay well we should be done right about now and yeah everything's oh my gosh one last chair anyways i really don't know what color this the food area should be we're just gonna paint the bottom color gray all right that just sounds like a great idea and it'll look good also right yeah that looks great this is the neotastic kitchen oh gosh i've just realized this is the interior video so we actually have to you know grab props for the kitchen well at least we're gonna spawn some props in now and if you guys are wondering what props i use it's these ones right here go take a screenshot of that they're actually really good okay we're gonna put this right here and we get a whole bunch of stuff we've actually just robbed an ikea store and we're gonna be grabbing some pots and pans and you know all the kitchen stuff you have awesome here's all the oven stuff we're gonna merge this in it's already looking very nice but we can't forget about the sink now the sink isn't gonna be the only thing that's gonna be sinking in this boat okay we're gonna put this over here holy crap this is a ginormous kitchen sink okay we're gonna rotate it the right way uh move it one block over and just slam it back here um wow it is way larger than i thought okay this is the single sink in the entire ship so y'all better be thankful because we cannot afford nothing better um what did i just delete oh an xml block oh gosh so i really am not a fan of xml stuff but it's fine it looks great it'll work it's awesome we're gonna cover up the piping dang that actually looks pretty sick not gonna lie hopefully we're not spreading any sicknesses but this is like a little cutting area for like your fruits let's see uh oh cabinets awesome all right kitchen has officially been complete i feel like it looks a little bit plain in here with nothing on this wall let's spawn this in and just double check because sometimes it really doesn't uh let's go in here before it actually capsizes uh, do you guys think it's fine with nothing on the wall i mean it keeps it simple um i really don't know what we put so as of now we're gonna leave it uh plain and we're gonna fill our uh storage area up here oh my gosh all right so this is the giant storage area that i've been talking about uh, for some of this time here we're gonna be deleting some stuff so this is just gonna be a completely flat area right here um flat area over there and the first thing we're gonna be doing is making the clothing area so back here we're gonna have two thermal arctic clothing and then what else is kind of similar to that what is this black hawk vest i did not know that was a thing then of course we cannot forget about this part so we're gonna color all of our stuff blue just so we can you know remember that you're wearing neotastic gear and you don't leave and steal it uh we're gonna put some of the gear over here and hold on not three blocks up we'll just do three right there three right there and we're gonna grab way more of these arctic things oh my gosh symmetry isn't on and four over here we're gonna be adding a ton of radios for these people to grab because you know we this ship's gonna be crude we're just gonna say that look how many radios we got and then we can't forget about the night vision binoculars which we're gonna stack a whole bunch of these so we basically got four we're gonna add even more of just the regular binoculars which i'm currently uh searching for here there we go wait no that's the night vision ones we're okay we're just gonna type it in binoculars and we should get the regular ones also perfect and then what should be next okay so we got a whole bunch of like guns i think we still have to add yeah that's right so we're gonna add some more assault rifles so all of our crew members can be armed just in case of an active emergency so we got a giant assault rifle right here we're gonna put four of those over here you think four is enough uh i don't know we'll just we'll add eight sure and then we're gonna delete part of this wall right here and this and even a little bit more of this and that is going to be filled with rifle ammo uh which is nowhere to be seen there we go awesome so this is gonna be a ton of ammo there's no reason we'd run out and just because we're kind of running out of space in here we're gonna do something really smart right now and just completely block this middle part off and this gives uh, uh, this leaves us with a whole bunch of room in this middle section here to add even more stuff 
on the wall. I think this is actually really smart. I don't know about y'all. Let me know if it is a smart idea down in the comments. And if you like in this video so far, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Anyways, on this wall over here on the farthest end, so hopefully no one sees it, we're going to be adding some C4. So some explosive just in case we want to run some bombing operation, which, you know, me, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Okay, hopefully this flips the right way. That'll work. All right, then we're going to go to the next one here. Um, compass. We'll, we'll have this side be kind of like the navigation and SOS one. Oh, right. Medical equipment. So we're going to add a defibrillator facing sideways right here. And is there any first aid that comes with the defibrillator? Um, sure. That's perfect. One, two, three, four, five. We need a decent amount of first aid. Wait, we have a medical bay. No, we don't. Now that we got some explosives done, why don't we add more and add some hand grenades directly above it? Um, please do not pull the pin when taking those out. Okay, so we have a little bit more room for actual gear here because I don't think we need any of this other stuff. Do we need a fishing pole? I don't know. Unless they like make a other DLC. Okay, so we're going to grab some diving equipment. This is one of the things we do need to add. So is this the deep diving one? Um, there's a deep diving one I know about. I don't know which one is that. Anyways, we got that done and then we're going to have a hazmat suit right here that doesn't look that hazmat because it has a neotastic color. So that will be yellow. And can we possibly make this blue? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, any room for the other suit we need to add? I don't think there really is. But um, the last suit we do need to add is the firefighting one. We're going to have two of these just in case we got two people trying to desperately put out a fire. I don't know. I'm just running scenarios through my head and hoping they're right. Okay, so that's right. The supply room is now officially done for now. Of course, we're probably going to add more in the future here. Let's see. Oh, wow. This looks terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. And then we're going to go ahead and put that little thing right there. And that just really smooths it out. Um, actually, that kind of looks bad. Anyways, uh, let's see what's next in here. So we got the kitchen done, right? Yeah, we got all that done. I think what's next is to actually go down a floor. Wait, hold on. I just realized putting some welders in this area right here. You guys probably don't know where I'm at. Uh, it's this area right here. Uh, this is all the ammo and stuff. We're going to go in here and put some welders completely sideways just in case you got to weld something when you, you know, have issues. And we cannot forget about some first aid. So we're going to put some first aid in here completely sideways. Oh, gosh, I can never get it right. Okay, that'll work. We'll just line it all the way to the end. And here we go. Completely stacked in this thing with supply. Awesome. Awesome. And now the next thing we got to do is go downstairs and we are officially down below the water level in this thing. So this is where interesting stuff does start to happen. Uh, the second we go down here, we're immediately met with a bed. So we're going to paint the bed red. And let's see, what should the floor be? Um, all this gray color. Yeah, right. Then we're going to do what we normally do and add a blue stripe all the way around on the bottom two blocks. This adds way more design. You guys should do this to your builds too, if you think it looks good, of course. I don't know. I think this looks good, but I probably also suck at designing things anyways. And actually, hold on. Down below deck here, I don't think it actually looks too bad with just the blue and the white. Holy, that actually looks really good and realistic. And it's super easy to see down here. Uh, maybe it'd be better if we didn't capsize. Oh my gosh, this boat annoys me so much. We'll fix it though. Don't worry about it. But I think we're going to stick with that blue color. What is going on out here? Nope, not for the door. Anyways, yeah. So blue color out here. We're going to keep the walls plain for leg reasons. And oh gosh, we have to do the interior. That's right. Also, I've just realized we forgot to put the lights in here. So we're going to go ahead and actually put some lights. Go connect them up. I'm going to do this off screen so you don't have to bore watching it. But the first bedroom we're going to be working on down here is the actual captain's bedroom. So this is my bedroom as you guys know the first thing we're gonna do is paint the bedroom red and actually there's a little bit of spacing right here so i think we can move the bed up like one block awesome and then we can actually walk in between there i don't know why we would but awesome and now it is time to actually design this room here so over here uh what's even inside of a bedroom um we'll have like a gaming setup over here yeah that'll work you don't yeah everyone has a gaming setup in their room uh no but seriously we're actually gonna put a seat right here and this seat will basically just be here so he can like write stuff down on the desk while being seated oh my gosh i'm just really trash at building okay so then we'll grab a seat and we only have to grab the small one so there we go he'll be facing this and i've just realized we forgot to paint this thing oh my gosh okay well we're gonna be grabbing brown and this entire thing will be brown um including under it we can't be like really weird and not paint the underside of things now i'm just painting the room and we got some interesting painting going on here um i'm not a professional painter so um as you know and uh, i think the plan was for the captain to have their own bathroom but um i don't think we need one anymore honestly it's totally fine that how it is uh we're gonna go to the next room here i don't want to add too much detail in these small rooms like this because it'll really just leg the ship out and the only reason we're gonna be using this is if we're in like a battle like i don't need the design to be anything crazy we got to keep it simple so we can have like more systems and logic and stuff so all right so let's see what the next room is the cic room's up there let's go back here though um so i'm guessing this is the big bedroom right here awesome so we're gonna make the beds red awesome just like that oh my gosh there's so many i don't know why i had so much then there's a ton of gapping going on on this side of the bed we're 
just gonna totally block it off so no one can see that side um we're gonna add some inventory slots for these sailors here so we're gonna delete like three slots and in these slots um we just broke a whole bunch of the floor uh we're gonna type in oxygen so oxygen is something we will need if the ship sinks uh hopefully it's not too much needed but you know and just like that these are the mini kits that will be supplied to these sailors so we have a flashlight right here a first aid kit just in case they get damaged and most importantly the oxygen that they can just inhale when we're sinking which will obviously never happen as we know it so we're just gonna copy and paste all this here oh my gosh i missed the singular block you've got to be kidding me and i totally forgot about lighting for the other rooms but now we have this room here so we're gonna put a light switch right there wait do we want lights in here here we'll put lights in here but they're gonna be very like very dim like these lights are gonna be super dark they're basically going to do nothing so don't even turn them on matter of fact you know we're really running low on electricity also and to make the, the lights an actual darker color we're gonna go to the additive mode and we're gonna go to the color very near black and this is the darkest tone we can make it and that is done we're gonna add a light switch right there now that this room is basically done i would love to design it more but i really just don't want this thing to be all laggy we have the medical wait what was this room oh my gosh i uh, i actually forgot i don't know what this room was um okay so really no clue what that one was oh wait this is the bathroom right okay easy enough we got a bathroom in here and we have definitely enough room for a shower so we're gonna go ahead and put the toilet on this side of the wall um it actually sticks out a couple blocks there we go this toilet just completely sticking out for your booty cheeks there we go and then it'll totally end up blocking off right here and this is where we will have the shower actually the shower only needs to be two blocks just so just like that and this will be the awesome looking shower and of course we cannot forget about the sink in this area so now we have a homemade sink right here and if we type in manifold we will actually get an exhaust manifold and we're gonna just slam it right here and that is the faucet for that and we got our toilet and then we got our lovely looking shower which we'll use the same thing for because why not okay this bathroom looks very disgusting i'm gonna go ahead and paint it all here uh should we do it off screen yeah why not and now that this room's done all looking nice and excited <laughs> this looks so bad um okay we maybe should do something here i don't know what we should do but as of now next up is this medical room right here which um i don't know why they're not red but there we go that looks way better we're gonna go ahead and fill the bottom of these things in just like this and fill them also with first aid kits now this room will obviously never be put into use but um yeah you know just in case this is just like regulations you know you need to have a medical room on a warship like this because of specific regulations that i am not in charge of and just like that we have the medical room done except we forgot about lighting so um normally in the medical rooms um actually i, I don't know what i'm saying not for sure but i think they normally have like a blue type of lighting i don't know why that just kind of seems cooler in this situation so we're gonna have blue lighting in here and to actually make the blue lighting we're gonna go to paint here additive and grab this light blue color which is basically just a neotastic color oh yes right the hvac room so we're gonna skip this as of now because i still really don't know how to do hvac i am contacting people and we will figure this out and here's the engine room as we know it i don't think we need to do anything in here let's go and just kind of go throughout the ship here and look at the rooms we forgot to do the lighting to so we got lighting in this room and not the bathroom and one thing we need to do before we go to the cic room is actually put some lights in the hallway it is really dark in these hallways and we got to light them up so we got this hallway right here and then this long one right here we'll add a light right here so for the activation switches for these hallway lights i think we're gonna have this in the captain's area that just seems like the correct way or correct area to actually put it in so there we go that's done actually you know what i thought to myself for about two and a half seconds and i've just realized that was a kind of a dumb idea so we're gonna put the lights out here now now the most amount of logic currently in this thing is this right here our freaking oven so i mean that's a good sign at least okay so i think we've gone through all these rooms up here there's really nothing we've missed we got uh lighting in all the compartments here we're just gonna delete that it looks really weird so lighting in all the compartments a whole bunch of other stuff uh the last room we do need to work on here is the cic room right here as you can see it's looking nice and beautiful in here i'd say yeah we gotta add some stuff today now first thing we need to do is move all these monitor or the station areas up here uh up one block so it's one block away from the people in front i don't know how to explain it but yep we got one block space now awesome it's looking much better so these will just be flat screens i think i feel like that'd be just more organized and better but as of now we're gonna go up here and actually start labeling what these seats do so as you can see oh wait they don't have a joystick in front of them yes yeah, so we're gonna need to replace all these seats make them have a joystick have in front of them all right so this lucky person right here is going to be the uh let's say oh my gosh i don't even know this one's gonna be in charge of the radio communications this one will be charged of uh we'll just do navigation that seems like something that might be slightly needed uh this guy right here will just be our main mapping guy and now we are going to the gunners so 
this will be the front gunner right here in charge of the big boy gunner uh towards the front which we actually haven't even added yet but up here will be a giant gunner and then we have a whole bunch of room towards the back of the boat right here and this is where we will have an additional gunner and that's going to be called the rear gunner and then uh this person is going to be in charge of radar and this one's going to be in charge of actually sonar instead of mapping i don't know why we did mapping but yeah i didn't have an idea for it all right that is all done and we're going to go to the seating here and we're going to uh, put a headset on them so they can really hear the sonar cool so now we have six stations inside of this thing that basically operate a whole bunch of stuff and yeah um i just realized where are we going to put the logic room inside of this thing <laughs> i don't think we actually thought of that yet because that definitely is very important anyways we will definitely figure it out we have a whole bunch of room down here but guys we got this thing basically decorated i may even do a part two on this interior let me know if i should because we really didn't do a whole lot to it just because of leg purposes uh let's go kind of do a review real quick before this thing capsizes but yeah this is the captain's room and there goes our review anyways let me know what we should add to this thing next is looking nice and beautiful right now i think when you guys did say to make it longer maybe we should do that anyways to be updated on this series be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe and click that bell to get tuned and or uh notified i ever upload and lastly be sure to go ahead and join the discord link is in the description but thank you guys all for watching until the end and goodbye